Hey, what's up guys? How would you like to be able to watch all of the brand new movies and TV shows from all of your favorite networks absolutely free? In today's video, I'm going to show you how you're going to have exclusive access to a secret app store that has applications giving you all of your entertainment for free. Don't worry, I'm going to walk you through step by step everything that you're going to need to know so that you too can access the secret app store and get all of your movies, TV shows, and much more for free. All right, guys. Well, if you're ready to learn, let's begin. All right, guys. So you're super excited and you're ready to start watching all of your favorite movies, TV shows, and much more for free. Let's jump right into it. The very first thing that we must do is go into the Amazon App Store and search for just one app. The easiest way to do this is just to push left on your remote until you're on that magnifying glass. Then we're going to push down and click our center button. It's then going to bring up a keypad allowing us to type out whichever app it is that we're looking for. Today, we're looking for an application called Downloader. I'll throw it on the screen as I spell it. Now guys, I only pushed in the very first letter. It's already appeared on the list. There's no need to type out the whole word. Just scroll down, highlight right there where it says Downloader, and click on it. It's then going to take us right here to this app. Let's go ahead and click on that. Now, if we click our center button one more time, the download process will begin automatically. As soon as the download is finished, it's going to go through the installation. And as soon as everything's wrapped up, it's going to say Open but I don't want to open the app just yet. Once you see that everything is finished and it says open, then I would like for you to click the home button. Because the next thing that we need to do is go into the settings of our Amazon Fire Stick itself and change just one setting. The easiest way to get into all of your settings is just to slide over all the way to the very end. A little menu will appear on the bottom half of your screen. And today, we're looking for something called My Fire TV. Now, if you have an older device or you haven't updated your device, it might be located in this position. Or if you have a really old Fire Stick, it might not be called My Fire TV. It might be called My Device. So whether it's called My Fire TV or My Device, whether it's here or here, let's all go ahead and click into that together. Now, everybody's screen should look like mine. Now, I might have one more option than you, and that is called Developer Options. If for any reason that you don't see Developer Options on this menu, don't worry, I'm going to show you how to get it. All you need to do is come up here and click right there where it says About. Then while highlighted on your Fire TV, what I would like for you to do is click the center button on your remote several times. Let's go ahead and do this together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you'll see a little pop-up that says, congratulations, you are now a developer. As soon as you see that little pop-up, then just push the back button one time. Now you too will have developer options. All right, let's go ahead and click into that together. Now the very first thing you're going to see is ADB debugging. If you click your center button just one time, you'll be able to get a little pop-up. You then click allow. And now you have turned that on. Now that you've turned that on, what I would like for you to do is slide down and click where it says Install Unknown Apps. And as you see, Downloader is on this list. Now you might have many apps on this list. Just scroll down and highlight Downloader. Once highlighted on it, then click the center button one time. And just like that, make sure that you turn Downloader on. Now if you have an older Fire Stick, you might not have this option. And where it says install unknown apps for me, it may say apps from unknown sources for you. If that's what you see, just make sure that you turn that on. Now that everybody is on the same page, let's go ahead and click the home button on our remote. Because now we want to go and find that brand new downloader app that we just installed. The easiest way to find all of your apps is just to slide over almost to the end and click right there. Then. As you install brand new apps, the newest app always goes to the very bottom. Scroll down through all of your apps, and as you will see, the very last app is the bright orange downloader app. Let's go ahead and open this together. You might have a pop-up. Just click the center button, and that will disappear. 
All right, guys, so welcome to Downloader. All you need to do is open the app and click the center button on your remote two times, once, twice. Then what we want to do is we want to enter something called a downloader short code. I'll go ahead and throw that on the screen as I enter it. Now that you've entered that code correctly, just click right there where it says go. Give your system just a second. Don't touch anything, just it'll do what it needs to. Now it's going to download this app onto your device. As soon as the download is finished, it's going to ask for you to install the app. So just let the download finish, then slide over right there, just click install. Now, when it's finished, I would like for you to click the word done. All right, so let's click done. Now we're going to have the ability to delete the unnecessary installation file. So just slide over and click delete, slide over and click delete one more time. All right, guys, well, that's everything that we need from the downloader app. Let's go ahead and click the home button on our remote. All right, so really quickly, we need to go into our Fire Stick settings to change just one more setting. And if you remember from just a few seconds ago, the easiest way to get into all of your settings is just to go to the very end. The menu appears on the bottom. And it once again, we want to click on My Fire TV. Then we want to click Developer Options. We want to click where it says Install Unknown Apps. And now you will notice that Unlinked has appeared on this list also. Again, you might have many other apps just slide down through all of them, highlight unlinked, and then click the center button one time and make sure that you turn it on. For all of this to work, both downloader and unlink need to be turned on. Now that they're both turned on, let's go ahead and click the home button on your remote. Just like before, we need to go and find the brand new unlinked app that we just installed. All you need to do is slide over almost to the end, click on that icon. All of your brand new apps will be at the bottom of this list. And as you see right there is the app that we just installed unlinked. Let's go ahead and open that up. Now the first thing it's going to ask you to do is enter a new library. All you need to do is click the center button on your remote two times, once, twice. And just like that, it's going to bring up a keypad allowing you to type out whatever code to whatever library it is that you would like to visit. Guys, I have worked really hard in creating my very own personal app store. And I'm sharing exclusive access to that store with my subscribers. And I want to say thank you to everybody who has hit the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to me. And all I ask in return for all of the hard work that I put into creating my very own app store, sharing it with you guys, making sure every day that it's up to date with only the very best, most up to date apps, for all that I've done recording this video and answering your comments and everything else, the only thing I would ask in return is that you're kind enough to take just a second of your day and hit that subscribe button. That tells me thank you for all the hard work that I just give away free to all of my viewers so that they too can have endless amounts of free entertainment. Now that you are a subscriber, let's go ahead and enter this code. And now that you have that code entered correctly, just click right there where it says next. And guys, welcome to my very own personal app store. This store is loaded with over 50 amazing applications, offering free movies, TV shows, sports, live TV, pay-per-view, and much, much more. Now, all you need to do is take a second and read everything that's on the screen. Once you've had the opportunity to read the message, and I would like for you to click the center button on your remote three times. Once, twice, three times. That breaks my store into different categories for you. Now you can slide up and down and go through the different categories, or you can slide left and right to go through the different apps. 
And in today's example, I wanted to bring you just a couple of apps that are going to be able to give you all of the brand new movies and TV shows absolutely free. But again, like I said, my store is loaded with all kinds of apps. All you need to do is select whichever one of the apps that you would like to try, highlight it and click on it. Then click download. Give your system a few seconds. The download will begin and you'll be able to watch the progress right here on the screen. Once it reaches 100%, the download's going to finish and it's going to ask for you to install the app. So we're just going to give it just a second for it to reach 100%. And you're going to see a little pop up. And when you do, just click install app. Then you're going to slide over and click install. Once the installation is all finished, it's going to bump you right back to the store so we can continue to download even more apps. Guys, we just got the amazing BTV. Now, this app says that you must use the HB or the NV player. Some of the apps in my store require you to download a separate player so that way the app can work at its very best. So if I gave you the BTV, I wanted to give you the corresponding player that went along with that. And right here you'll be able to find the NV player and as you see it's for BTV. All right, let's go ahead and click on that. And just like before, we're going to click download. The download process will begin and once it reaches 100%, we'll have that little pop up. And now that we see the pop-up, we're just going to click install app. We're going to slide over and click install. And once the installation's finished, it's going to bump me right back into the store. All right, guys, so we've gotten the all-new BTV with the corresponding NV player. But not all apps in my store require a separate player. Some of them have the player built right in, just like the Cinema HD app. This app is probably one of the most old reliable apps available in the store. All we need to do is highlight it, click on it, and click download. And guys, if you didn't know about Cinema HD before, I hope that you download this app, try it out, because it is truly amazing. And like I said, it's probably the oldest app around, and it's still kicking, and it's still amazing, offering all kinds of movies and TV shows. And just like everything else, we're just going to wait for this to get to 100%. But guys, while you're in the store, try out other apps. Again, it has over 50 apps to choose from. Don't just limit yourself to these three. This is just a small example of how my store works and what you need to do about downloading and clicking to install these apps on your device. Again, we're going to slide over and click install. And once you already know, it, it's going to bump you right back into the store once everything's wrapped up. Please download as many of the apps that you want. All of the apps are free to use and download. But really quickly, what I want to do is click the home button on my remote because there's one more app that I want to make sure that everybody downloads. And again, you're going to be able to find this app in the official Amazon App Store. So just like in the beginning of the video, all you need to do is push left, click on that magnifying glass. We're going to push down. We're going to hit search. And the next app that I want everybody to look for and download is the Nord VPN. I'll throw it on the screen as I spell it. And guys, again, I only had to make it to the second letter. I don't even have to type everything. All I have to do is scroll down, highlight right there where it says Nord VPN, and click on it. Go ahead and click on it. It's going to give you the ability to down download this. Just click it. And now that you see that it says open, what I would like for you to do is click the home button on your remote. Because I want to go and show you where all of those apps ended up that you downloaded onto your device. All you need to do is slide over, click on that icon right there. Again, it's going to bring up all of your apps. And as you've already figured out, the newest ones always go to the very bottom. And guys, here are all of those brand new apps that you just installed. What I would like for you to do is highlight one of them. Then click the three dashes just to the right of the home button. When you do, a little menu will appear. What I would like for you to do is slide down and click where it says move to front. And as you see, it brought the app from the bottom all the way to the very top of the list. I want to do that just a few more times. I'm going to slide over. I'm going to click three dashes and move to front. I'm going to click three dashes and move to front. And a couple more times three dashes, move to front, 
and three dashes move to front. Now please feel free, move these apps around in whatever order is going to work best for you. I just want to show you what putting them up at the top actually does for your device. So let's go ahead and click the home button. Right here from the home screen where you begin every time that you power your device on, you're going to have easy access to all of these apps. So and you're not going to have to go looking for them. This first app, that's unlinked. That's my store. I wanted to make sure that I put it on the home screen so that you guys had easy access if you ever wanted to go back and try out some new apps or get some updates to your existing apps. And also, before I ever open any of those apps that I downloaded today, I always make sure that I turn my VPN on first. So let's go ahead and click on the NordVPN app. All right, guys, so the first thing it will ask you to do is log in. If for any reason that you don't have an account with NordVPN, don't worry, I'm going to make it super easy for you to get one. All you need to do is log in to any internet browser that you normally use and go to this website right here. Also, you can just pull the phone out of your pocket and point the camera at the QR code there in the corner. Or if you like, I'll just leave links down below in the description or the comment section. It doesn't matter how you get there, all of the different links are going to take you to the NordVPN website. From there, you're going to have the ability to learn more about why each and every person should be using a VPN, especially when using those apps from my store. Also, you're going to have the ability to pick out a plan. Once you do, Nord will then email you with a confirmation with your very own username and password so that you're able to sign in. I'm going to sign in and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so now that I'm all logged in, all I need to do is slide over, highlight Quick Connect, click my center button one time. Now, I might have a little pop up. Just slide down, click OK. Give your system just a few seconds. And when you see this blue box light up in green, you know that you're protected. Guys, it's that easy to protect yourself while enjoying all of those entertainment apps for free. Now also, I've heard down in the comments that some people are having issues using my app store or the apps themselves or certain movies or TV shows within those apps. And I'm sorry to tell you that it's your own internet provider blocking access. And not only does NordVPN keep you 100% protected, it also will bypass all of those restrictions that your own internet provider is putting on you and all of your devices. Now that you know that you're connected, all you need to do is click the home button on your remote. The NordVPN will continue to run in the background, keeping you connected and protected so that now you can finally go and open all of those apps that you downloaded and start enjoying all of your free movies, TV shows, sports, live TV, pay-per-view, and everything else that you downloaded today. All right, guys. Well, if you've not done so already, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button. You can also give this video a thumbs up. You can ring the notification bell if you never want to miss a video. You can leave me a comment. But most of all, I would love it if you were to share this video with a friend or a coworker or a neighbor. It doesn't matter. I just want to make sure that your friends and coworkers can they can enjoy their entertainment absolutely free, just like you do. All right, guys. Well, thanks again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again real soon in the next video.